What's going on everybody? It's your boy Voodoo, North Carolina's freshest commentator, coming at you with a video here on my channel. Um, I just wanted to say thanks a lot for some support lately. I know I haven't been active at all. Also, that Sony Vegas Pro 11 video that is up on my channel. I'm going to keep it up, but just to let some of you know that Sony Vegas has taken off the Pro 11 version on their website. So I am trying to figure out how to get Sony Vegas 12 for you guys. I'm going to post that video as soon as I figure it out. So let's get into today's topic of this video. just want to first go over the gameplay a little bit. This was a face-off one v1 on the map of ground i go 14 and 1 in this and that's with the l11 8a i believe it is and the m4a1 uh, it was a pretty campy gameplay and all but that is what it is uh whenever i snipe i'm not a great quick scoper and especially mono for three i'm really not a great quick scoper and so yeah that's what i get in this gameplay so i just wanted to go over a few things lately um a few of them might be late and a few of them might be brand new to you guys just stick with me if you have heard this great if you haven't i'm glad i'm being the first to tell you so I'm not really feeling well, so that's why my voice might sound a little weird or whatever. If it doesn't, great. All right, so the first picture I have up on the screen here is of a picture that was on David Von Har's Twitter. I will show you the uh, tweet that went along with it. But in this, he shows three things, and it's the emblem editor, calling cards, and clan tag. And it says you can, on the bottom, with the emblem editor set up, you can create or edit your emblem. So, let's start off with that. Now, as you can see right here, there that's a pretty sick emblem. I mean, I'm not going to lie, it looks pretty dope. But, there are some new things that have to be in the, that are involved in this emblem editor that are um, in Black Ops 2, other than uh, the different one from Black Ops, the first one. Uh, there's more layers. There's a total of 35 layers in, the, in Black Ops 2 for your emblem editor. And some of the emblems that Treyarch has released to the public are crazy. Like, you can make anything. Like this one right here, uh, that's one of them that you can make. And so, yeah. Also, the standard colors that you can choose from, the colors of the rainbow, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Yeah, Roy G. Biff. Um, you can choose those. You can choose all the standard colors that were in Black Ops, the first one. But also, now you can make a, it has the scale uh, where you can make pretty much any color um, if you decide to do that. And also, now they've added the tr background of your uh, emblem to be transparent. And it could be pretty sick if you... Uh, design it right so uh, that's pretty much all for the emblem editor that I have information but I'm just gonna speculate on the calling cards now since I guess you can edit the emblem can you edit some calling cards or I guess that might be just a place to choose your calling card that would be pretty cool if you could edit your calling card as that one looks pretty sick already I'm just putting some things out there black ops 2 is 22 days away so I am gonna be going to the midnight release it's gonna be pretty awesome when we get the game and put out as much content as I possibly can I'm not oh, I'm not going to work that day. I'm not going to school that day. So hopefully I can put out some good content for you guys. And also that's the day I get my iPhone 5. So I will be doing an unboxing of that. And also you have the choice to do a clan tag. Obviously this has been in every multiplayer Call of Duty. I think even Modern Warfare, the first one. So moving right along here. The next picture that I have for you guys is of the tweet uh, from John Utah. His question was to David Von Har, Can finished emblems be saved off as layers so we can load and tweak different emblems at a layer? Later date and David Von Har tweets back WIP which is work in progress but yes can make and store multiple emblems and then apply the one you want fan requested feature so any I remember in Black Ops I would create an emblem I would want to experiment more with the like different layers that I could do and come up with some new designs but I didn't want to get rid of that one design that I made I know I had the Taylor Ganger die logo or emblem whatever you want to call it in my player card for the first Black Ops I've always wanted to change it but it took me so long to get that made that I really don't want to change it so it's been that pretty much for a while I haven't really gotten on black ops so that's gonna be pretty awesome how you can kind of choose those I guess kind of save them and like kind of maybe if you could save them in your vault that would be pretty awesome and also something else that I have to let you guys know about Call of Duty Black Ops 2's Call of Duty Elite is going to be free but that doesn't mean the same th the Call of Duty Elite from a uh, Mono for 3 is not the same Call of Duty Elite from Black Ops or for Black Ops 2 Call of Duty Elite is free which is the clan challenges and all that is now free but the Call of Duty Black Ops 2 Season Pass, which is four DLC packs, is $50. Now, each one is going to be $12.00. So, and there's four of them. Actually, each one's $15. You get four of them, and that's $60. So, you end up saving $10 uh, if you purchase the season pass. I personally have not chosen to 
purchase the season pass or thought about purchasing the season pass yet. Um, I may purchase it as we go later on uh, down the road or as we get closer to release day, which is in 22 days. So uh, actually 21 when this video will be uploaded. So I hope everyone enjoyed this gameplay. I uh, hope everyone enjoyed this commentary. I am going to be a lot active or a lot more active lately or now. And I also have to tell you guys what I'm doing for Thanksgiving, but I'll leave that to the next video. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that like button and subscribe to my channel. Peace.